Okay. And um, in this uh, lecture, we are going to be working with elemental elements. Right? Now, when you are working with elemental, we have a lot of elements that are inbuilt, okay, in elemental. And we are going to see a whole lot of them. In fact, every piece of, um, you know, structures you are going to put up on your website or your landing page is going to come in the form of elements, right? We have elements for buttons, okay? We have elements for text, all right? We have elements for text. We also have elements for, um, you know, headings, all right? The headings of our page, Okay? We have um, elements for testimonials. We have elements for images. We have elements for uh, videos. Okay, so this is a very key, important aspect of the lectures today. Right? And um, for proper comprehension, let's get back to our website to see how to add some of these elements right in our page builder. Now, in our previous lectures, we saw how to, you know, to add structures and also to add sections to our, uh, um, you know, to our page. Now, we are going to use our elements to practicalize. Now, if you check by this left-hand side of your page, that is the elemental page, we have these basic elements, okay? We have, um, you know, they are categorized into the favorites, right? Your frequently used elements are going to be displayed here. Then we also have the basic um, pages, the basic elements to say, which contains the inner section, the heading, image, you know, text editor, video, buttons, divider, spacer, Google Maps, icons. Now, these are the ones that are free, like that are available in the free version of the Elementor plugin or page builder. Now, in the pro version, we have several other, you know, um, elements we have here the slides we have the nav menu we have the post portfolio gallery we also have the price list there are a whole lot of them we have the countdown here right so these are all the elements we have in this and then we also have the general section of it the image box icon box all right so we are not going to be listing out and um, calling them one by one. You won't be able to mention all of them. So there are a whole lot of them available here, all right? So, but now what we have to do, remember I said initially that we need to click this plus sign to add the structure of our page. Okay, let's take for example that we want to add the heading here, all right? The, um, the page here, all right? Let's say we want to add an element now. And then we are selecting the the whole width layout, okay? The single width here. Now, to add an element, you click on them. Um, you see the plus sign, all right? There's a plus sign here. Now, click on it, and you can pick any of the elements here. Let's say you want to add heading. So just drag this heading and place it here, all right? By default, well, once you've placed it, you can see that is we already have a, a pre-formatted text in here. So you can type any of your title here let's say become a data analyst a pro become a pro in data analysis okay using sql <laughs> All right now when you've done that um later on we are going to see how to format our text but when you've done that you can see here we have the align alignment option you can align your text to center, right? You can change the HTML tags. Now we have the H1, you know, we have the H2, we have the H3, right? We have the H4, okay? But um, whenever you are working with your title, right, your heading title, you have to select the H1, right, for your heading. Now, if you want to include a link such a way that if a, a customer, when a customer clicks on that, Maybe this text now, it takes the person to a page. You can include a link here, All right? And then, um, so let's create another structure. And in this one, we are making it to, so you can include something. Let's search for an element here. We have um, we have the image, so you can include an image here. And when, once you've done that, um, select 
your image from your media library you can select any of the images available here okay and select from any of these and then insert media it's going to insert media to your platform or your landing page all right in this other area you can include something called the text editor all right just as a normal text editor we have and you can begin to type stuff here this is just a testing of of the page okay now once you've done that you can format this we have the option to choose from your bold you can underline this you have the underline here and then um, we have paragraphs right, let's copy this and paste here now we can add a um, numbered list to here we can also add a um, bulleted list here on that list to say then if you have to put a paragraph include a paragraph you can choose paragraph from here or you can choose another heading tag let's say thank you you can make it bold here then choose the heading tag of let's say h2 right and if you hover your mouse around here you can see an option to adjust this so if your page is getting tight that is your text editor by the left here you can use this to you know to adjust the width of your text editor or your element section page okay we've covered that now let's see another section let's say we have about three um sections here let's say we want to add something like the price list so you can include include a price table here so you have options to include your price table then whenever you want to duplicate a an element from a particular section let's say from this all right from this column notice that we have about three columns here created for us here we had two columns and then here we had only a single column now if you want to copy an element from a column to a different column you have to right click and then click on copy and then you paste it here all right okay you can um, duplicate um, this or you can just copy again paste it down here but what, what I do is uh, before I copy any element to paste in a different section, let's say I need a duplicate of that. I'll first of all ensure that I've finished the formatting of this, the first element before I can copy it and duplicate in other columns. Okay, I don't know if you understand that. Let's take for example that I'm changing this title, for example. Placing this, you will notice that we have the header section here where you can you know edit your title put in your description i don't want this video to be very longer i just want to show you how you can work with some of your elements here right so this is uh, we are not going to be seeing how to edit all this so let's just keep on working with other elements now let's choose the fourth one and then let's say we want to add something like an icon you have the what is called the icon box so you drag icon box and place here right now you can choose your icon from here can choose any of your icons here all right now i can choose to copy this you know duplicate and paste it wherever i want to do so in our subsequent sections in our subsequent lessons we are going to see how to format all these icons text buttons and images the headings of our wordpress uh, or our landing page so i uh, wouldn't want the video to be longer we are going to be stopping here so we've successfully seen how to work with elements so a quick recap of what we just said now before you can add any element you have to first of all create a new section and then you add a structure how you want a, your the number of columns you want to add to that your section all right and then before you begin to add your element by clicking the plus sign here and then dragging it from this left section you know to this place and note that you can also adjust it from here all right you can adjust the width of the columns from here let's say for example you want the element here to be smaller than this other element you can use this to adjust okay and adjust from here so thank you so much and i'll be seeing you in our next lesson